Hello dear students. Welcome back to Logic Tutor and this is Lakshmi Narayana, your math facilitator. Today I'm here to present a very 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 important question from the chapter polynomials and the same as one of the previous years board questions. And the same is also from Adi Sharma book, very important questions. So not only this, from the same chapter we have uh, discussed plenty of questions in earlier sessions. So I have left the link of playlist in the description. Do check it out. And before uh, moving into our question, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So let's move to the question. Here is our question. This is question number twelve, exercise two point one from Adi Sharma. The question is: If alpha and beta are zeros of the quadratic polynomial, that is p of s is equals to three s square minus six x plus four. Then find the value of alpha upon beta plus beta upon alpha plus two times of one upon alpha plus one upon beta plus three times of alpha into beta. Here we are given uh, alpha and beta are zeros of this quadratic polynomial. So by making use of this roots, we have to find value of this expression, which is there completely in alphas and betas. So for that. Just uh, visualize and recollect the previous concepts. So, if we don't have alpha beta directly, so such kind of expressions, how to solve, right? So, just recollect. So, we have some uh, relation between zeros of a polynomial and coefficients of the quadratic polynomial. That is, uh, sum of zeros and product of zeros, right? Here we'll take uh, the given polynomial and we'll find. its coefficients by comparing the quadratic polynomial with its general form right so here given p of s is equals to 3s square minus 6s plus 4 and comparing with its general form that is ax square plus bx plus c this is general form of quadratic polynomial here this is a this is b and this is c right so here a is equals to 3 b is equals to negative 6 and c is equals to 4 now we'll find sum of zeros and product of zeros therefore sum of zeros alpha plus beta here zeros are alpha and beta so sum of zeros alpha plus beta is equals to minus b upon a what is minus b here that is Minus x coefficient upon a. What is a here? X square coefficient. This is the relation between these two, right? Here b we have negative six, so negative of negative six. This becomes positive six upon a. A we have three. Again you can see. So three divided six, three ones are three, two are. So here we'll get two. So alpha plus beta is equals to two. Let us take this number one. Now we'll find alpha into beta, product of uh, zeros. That is relation is c upon a. That is constant upon x square coefficient. Here constant is four and x square coefficient is three. So let us take this is number two. Now we got alpha plus beta and alpha into beta. Now we'll consider the required uh, expression and we'll convert into Alpha plus betas and alpha into betas. Then we'll substitute these values and we'll simplify, right? Consider alpha upon beta plus beta upon alpha plus two times of one upon alpha plus one upon beta plus three times of alpha into beta. What we'll do is uh, first we'll take these two together and we'll sum up. And we'll take uh, these two together and we'll sum up. This is equals to if you take uh, LCM to sum up these two fractions here, beta into alpha or alpha into beta is LCM. Here, beta beta gets cancelled. Alpha times alpha into alpha, so we'll get alpha square plus here alpha alpha divides beta times beta into beta. We'll get beta square plus. Here two times of again to sum up these two fractions and we'll take alpha into beta LCM. Here alpha alpha divides beta times beta into one 
beta plus here beta beta gets cancelled alpha times alpha into 1 alpha plus 3 times of alpha into beta. Now look at here we have alpha into beta alpha into beta alpha plus beta alpha into beta these are all we have but here we have additional thing alpha square plus beta square so we don't have directly so what to do now here we don't have alpha square plus beta square now what to do think yes this kind of situations will come into the picture algebraic identities so here what we'll do is alpha plus beta whole square we know that alpha square plus beta square plus 2 times of alpha beta see here this is we have but this part we don't have to take this so what we'll do is if you subtract uh, 2 alpha beta from it alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta is equal so what you will get alpha square plus beta square right because this one we have taken this side then we left with alpha square plus beta square so what we'll do is we'll use this one here which is equals to alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 times of alpha beta upon alpha into beta plus 2 times of alpha plus beta upon alpha into beta plus 3 times of alpha into beta. Now we have all required values here. We will substitute alpha plus beta that is 2, 2 square 4 minus 2 times of alpha into beta, 2 times of 4 upon 3 that is 4 2 are 8 upon 3 upon alpha into beta that is 4 upon 3 plus here 2 times of uh, alpha plus beta that is uh, 2 upon alpha into beta that we have 4 upon 3 plus 3 times of alpha into beta that is uh, 4 upon 3. Now further what we will do is uh, here 3 divides 3 one time further we will simplify 3 4 is 12 12 minus 8 that is uh, 4 upon 3 here this 4 upon 3 this fraction is dividing so we will multiply and reciprocal 3 upon 4 plus here 2 2 is 4 into again this 4 upon 3 is dividing so what we will do we will multiply and reciprocal that is 3 upon 4 4 into 3 upon 4 plus here 1 4 is 4 now further here you can see 3 divides 3 one time 4 divides 4 one time 4 divides 4 one time now here 1 1 is 1 plus 1 3 is 3 plus 1 uh, 4 together we get 8 clear therefore the required expression value when alpha beta are zeros of this quadratic polynomial is 8. So is it clear? I hope it is very much clear and if you have further doubts so please write your queries and requests in the comment section below. I will be waiting to read all your comments and I will reply. That's it for today's session. See you in the next session with amazing video. Till then. Uh, Keep learning, be safe and have a great day.